What do we got? What do we got? Red cord? Feels like a red cord. Or is it a shark? Oh, it's a big one. I reckon it's a red cord. Can't see it. It's playing like a red cord. Oh, it's a bloody mess. It's caught around the other line. It's a bloody shark, I think. What do we got? Oh, is it a carpet shark? Oh, it's a gurnet. Happy days. Nice one. Bloody good. Oh, happy days. Nice big carrot, and you picked up the other, other line. Geez, you got that down your throat, mate. Beautiful big fish. Here's our lovely gurnard. Spike here. I'm going to go behind that spike and cut. And the other side too. It's sharp, you don't want to get it in yet. And that head goes out the window for the chickens. like to bake the fins, these beautiful gurnard fins, I mean look at them, just lovely colour and I'm keeping them on but I am going to take this fella here off because it's got some quite sharp spikes in it. Pink Himalayan salt on the inside, it's lovely skin, and score. Right down, making diamond score. It's going to help it cook through. Where those nice bits we can just take off the other side. Gonna heat that pan up. This is avocado oil, it has a really high heat point. You can heat it right up without it burning, and it's good for you. Heaps of it. Mmm, smells nice. You can see I've already done this side here and it's going to gently turn it over in the pan. And I say gently, I mean gently so we don't lose everything. Now putting all the other little bits in what's turned over, it already smells good. I can smell the basil with the garlic just in the pan and it just goes so well with this nice oil, this avocado oil. Now the idea of putting tomato on the top stops the fish from drying out too much as it cooks. Keeping your fish moist. We're going to give this about 7 to 8 minutes in the pan. I do not like overcooking fish. Put the basil on top. Some more garlic and ginger. It's going to be delicious. Avocado all over the top of that. Himalayan salt and our lid. We're going for two minutes. It smells absolutely delicious. Put the asparagus in there just to put in the heat. It's been going for about eight minutes. And I'd rather undercook it than overcook it. And just check the fish. What we taste. Mmm! Oh, that's really good. Right, that's good to go. I can hear the dogs barking. That means my visitor's here. Oh, that looks great. And we've got some nice asparagus. Let's get all this nice sauce. I'm going to pour. Chickens can have that. They can also have that to pick on. Mmm. Oh, I think there's enough for one person here. Yeah. 
<laughs> I was going to start eating this if you hadn't arrived. You have the first bite, sweetheart. Turn it up. <laughs> Very yum. Very yum. I know I've already tried some. Basil. Mm, basil, yeah. Good. Basil's really good, eh? It's a, just a little basil still. Mmm. Looks very well. Mmm. So cooking it this way, you get a lot of bones, but you get a lot more fish. You don't waste fish. Sounds like we've got an egg in the bushes. What do you think about the tomato? With good. It? Good, eh? Yeah. Mmm. Perfect. That's perfect. So, before we make complete and absolute pigs of ourselves, um, I'll show you. Take that bit, take that bit. Get that in you. Eat that too. That's it there. And it really is just delicious. It's just like, can't explain it really. Eh? It's perfect. The avocado oil goes really well. Good luck with your own hunting, your own fishing, and your own cooking. And be good. Can't be good, be careful. See you later. Right, tear it up, sweet up. Be natural, come on. You're a terrible actress. <laughs> I think it's the best fish I've cooked this year.